Hello everyone. Welcome to the course of satellite communications. In today's class, we are going to learn about orbit determination. Okay. So orbit of the satellite can be determined by six orbital elements. So apart from the six orbital elements, the velocity of the satellite and time period of orbit is also important. Okay. So with what speed or the velocity the satellite is moving in the orbit and how much time period it takes or how much time it takes to complete several revolutions is also important. Okay. So based on all this, we have already seen the uh, orbital elements. I have already posted a video called orbital elements separately. Okay. Yeah, before this session. Okay. So you can also go through that particular topic. Okay. And generally earth station controllers are used to measure the angular position of the satellite. Okay. Now, Let's see what are these satellite orbital elements. Okay. So there are six satellite orbital elements. So let's see. So these are the orbital elements. I have already posted a video on this particular orbital elements. So based on these six parameters, we can, uh, they are very much helpful based on these six parameters, we can estimate the orbital motions or the satellite motions based on the uh, moving in the orb orbit. Okay. So the six orbital elements are eccentricity, semi-major axis, mean anomaly, argument of perigee, inclination, right ascension of this ascension node. Okay. We have descension node as well as as ascension node. Okay. You can know what are these. So I have already posted a video. So semi-major axis, eccentricity, mean anomaly, argument of perigee, inclination and right ascension are okay. So based these are the six elements. 